today we've got a Wolves vs Crystal Palace match review for you. Obviously, perfunctory 2-0 victory, very happy with the result and that puts us into a very, very good place in terms of our Europa League qualifying hopes. It leaves it in our own hands, so if we win against Chelsea, we've secured 6th place, no matter what Tottenham do, even if they do beat Crystal Palace. Um, and if Arsenal don't win tonight um, against Aston Villa, then we've secured... We've secured uh, we've secured seventh place, which should be qualifying unless Arsenal win the Euro win the FA Cup, which has still uh, quite a high chance of them doing so. So um, so ideally we can if if we ideally we want to finish sixth. Um, neither team played their A game in the first half. Everyone was a bit sloppy. Crystal Palace missing a few opportunities, particularly for Jeffrey Slop, who uh, uh, um, charged into the box. Latching onto a loose willy bolly pass um, and should have scored really, but sent it millimetres wide of the post. And um, yeah, I reckon he'd have got that on target. Patricia wasn't reaching it, so that was a big let off for Wolves early in the game. And that sort of shook us awake, really. A few more sloppy passes went astray, but um, we had most of the pressure in the last 10 minutes of the first half, and that eventually told when uh, a beautiful chip over the top from Matinho uh, left for Doherty to cushion. Past the goalkeeper and Daniel Prudence to head in on the line. Whoever would have thought that uh, Daniel Prudence would have scored a header for Wolves. But he's done it um, and that's all that matters. Fantastic goal really. Um, great build up play and Prudence's first goal for the team after uh, stringing together two really good performances in the last two games. Um, in the second half we had all the control. Palace never really gave any threats. Um, the, the, the only thing that caught the... Um, Caught the eye for Palace was Wilfred Zaha's boot conundrum, but uh, yeah, we just we kept um, we kept plowing on, and Adama Traore showed showed what he's about as he charged between the young fullback Mitchell and MacArthur and squared it across to Jimenez, who who laid it off to Johnny with a fantastic finish um, for a fullback, um, and it was an incredible goal. And, not really much else to be said. Let's move on to the player ratings. As for the match ratings, this is what I've gone with for Wolves. In net, Ru Patricio, clean sheet, solid performance, seven. Then Donker and Cody, looks a bit shaky at some, some points in the game. A few straight passes, but pulled it back in the second half, sevens. Bolly, again, a bit shaky in the first half, but it was an absolute colossus in the second half, everywhere on the pitch, dealing with absolutely everything. Eight. Johnny and Doherty, the flying fullbacks in this case. Um, one getting an assist, one getting a goal. Fantastic performances, eight each. Ruben Neves and Gian Martinho. Um, I've given Neves a seven. Very solid performance. Perhaps not what I was uh, hyping uh, his performance to be to be in the uh, preview. I was uh, hoping he was going to score a screamer, but it was not the case. Still, still a fantastic uh, performance. Strung together some great passes, and I've, that's why I've given him seven. Gian Martinho the same really. Again, some excellent passes, but. Um, he did provide that moment of brilliance when he chipped the ball to uh, Matt Doherty to cushion it for uh, Pedence to head in for his uh, first, goal the, first goal of the season for Wolves. Um, fantastic player, eight. Traore and Pedence, again, fantastic. Um, flying wingers rather than flying fullbacks this time. Um, Pedence getting his first goal. Adama, deservedly man of the match, in my opinion. Um, and that's... And that, I've given them I've given them an eight each for that reason. Raul Jimenez looked quite solid. Um, never, n never really looked like scoring to be honest. Bit one of his more quiet games. Provided a good assist for uh, Johnny's goal though. Um, maybe his mind was on his um, baby who was born that night um, after the game. Um, and yeah, so just a solid performance from him. Really, nothing special though. I, and for, as for the substitutes, Diogo Jota and Pedro Neto uh, didn't have enough time, in my opinion, to make a difference. Didn't have enough touches, so I've given them NA each. I can't really judge them, to be honest. Let's move on to the man of the match. My man of the match 
for Wolves is Adama Traore. Excellent speed, excellent power, and played a huge part in the second goal, squaring it to Jimenez, who cushioned it to Johnny, who finished beautifully into the far corner. Um, embarrassed Mitchell on his debut, skinned him a couple of times. His pace was far too much to deal for with to, to deal with for the young fullback, um, and there was no one else to pick for man of the match in my opinion. Let's move on to the final verdict. Overall, I think it was a great performance for Wolves. Puts in a fantastic position for Europa League, already beaten last season's point tally. And if we get a win against Chelsea or pick up any sort of points and Tottenham don't win, then we secured six, which is a, which is a boost on our table finish last season. And also that means we won't have to go through the uh, tiring qualifying stage. But anyway, that's it for this episode. I've got a great video on Wolf shirt, ranking Wolf shirts through the ages coming soon. My social will be down here somewhere. Make sure to like and subscribe and I will see you next time.